guys, welcome back to Genji Plans. If you caught my community post on Tuesday, I updated you. I got uh, my test result back on Monday and I have COVID, so uh, you will hear that in my voice. <clears throat> I'm very husky. I've been coughing since Friday. Um, the girls are out right now with their dad getting swabbed to find out if it's passed everybody else. I bet it has because... Yeah, my daughter got her test back uh, negative on Sunday, and I thought that I would be negative too, but I think it was a false negative. Anyway, the point, it's time for a new weekly spread. Uh, this, the, what's it, timing is working out okay, because this video is going out on the 20th, and well, actually, I guess I'm making a new spread starting Wednesday. So, how has this has worked, and if you've been following the whole saga... This is the, um, <laughs> the saga of this particular weekly spread. This is a uh, rolling weekly. So here you'll see there's like 10 days on this side. The colors are a little weird right now, sorry. Um, this is not just a full, like one week, it can go a little bit longer. And then you have your dailies here in these columns. You can continue to use this column for dailies, but I'm using it for like a weekly to-do list and then next week. So um, I wasn't using this for dailies over the weekend. You can see I did Thursday, Friday, and then Monday, and now I'm filming this on Tuesday. I should have enough room to finish up my Tuesday daily here. Um, you can see here, this went from Monday and I wasn't even using it because I was sick. I didn't do any dailies until Thursday. Um, so this lasted me quite a while because I wasn't using these um, daily lists as much. But if you use them more, then it lasts a little bit less. Basically, it lasts as long as you need it to. Um, and in this case, I'm going to be rolling over on Wednesday the 19th. So this day is actually going to roll over to the next page. Um, and I will show you how that works right now. That's Wednesday the 19th. It's going to be the first day up here because that's the first day I'm going to be using this spread of it. Let me quickly uh, fill in the rest of these days and see how far that takes us. So that will take us all the way to Friday the 28th, potentially. Um, I'm just going to basically decorate this the same exact way I did last week. I liked how this worked. I ripped my washi in half lengthways to give it a jagged edge on one side. I think that looks really cool. Um, and use that for just sort of a little color splash here and then headers here. Um, so we'll do that real quick. Everything and my plans is just up in the air these days, obviously, because it all just depends on how better, how quickly we get better. I think um, places, before we can go back out in public, I think places want, um, like work and school want us to be symptom free and or have negative tests. And I don't know how long that will take. Um, even just getting the negative test result is going to take like three days unless we get our antigen tests in the mail. Um, I never bothered to buy any out of pocket because that just seemed like something that shouldn't be my problem, right? It's paying for antigen tests. If you want me to take an at-home test, you pay for it. And so now it is covered by insurance. I have some on the way. Um, I have that note right here that you can order them from the federal government starting yesterday. So if you haven't done that yet, apparently you can do that. Um, so do that. Um, and I will as well get some more. You can order up to eight per person per household. This is US specific, obviously. This is just things I'm learning about because at least school will allow an antigen test for returning to school. Uh, they want a PCR test to confirm the diagnosis. So that's what they're doing now. Poor thing. She's getting very good at this. Getting swabbed. All right. That's all I can think about right now. I hope that, I hope that wherever you are, you're feeling healthy. You know, like life is what it is right now, but 
I am just so jealous of people who are healthy because it's not just like that we have COVID this week. It's that we had a GI bug last week and then like we've been basically back to back different kinds of illnesses since like November. We had like a week's reprieve in at Christmas, thank goodness. And uh, it's just, it's just been a lot and I'm tired of it. I'm tired of being sick. I'm tired of taking care of sick kids. Uh, so we've got a lot of these stickers from Mad Hatter Stickers Co. Or Sticker Co. Officially here. But I believe on Instagram there's an extra S. <laughs> um, I'm having trouble getting some of these to detach from the page. Which is why they're kind of been taking them off unevenly. Um, yeah, see it's like ripping around the edge here. Fortunately, you can put up with a lot though when the price is right. Her stickers are only like $2 a sheet, so. I still love it. All right. So like I said, I'm using this column for a weekly to-do list. I just, I always, I try not using a weekly to-do list and then uh, I always feel like I come back to needing one. Just to have like a, at a glance, this is what you should be working on stuff, even if I often will ignore it until the weekend. I'm working on some um, like plans for the garden for the spring, even though it's like January and all of my winter garden is in full swing. I have no business getting antsy, but I am excited. Uh, I am just going to do, like I said, exactly the same. Um, I'm using this light blue mild liner brush pen and I'll just do the header for Wednesday since I already know that's the first day I'm using here um, and this is again from Mad Hatter Stickers Co. 18th and there we go it's Wednesday and I will move over basically everything I already went through and like looked at my monthly um yeah that's gonna have to wait oh I can I can cross that off can I cross that off yeah I used this marker I forgot I used this one this is a friction fine liner there's a little color instead of a check mark. I ordered seeds. Um, still need to break into the fertilizer for the lemon tree. And I can't go get strawberries right now because I'm sick. I moved stuff from here and here on to uh, this section. So I can just basically move this over. Um, starting with, yeah, order tests as well. I'll put it on the daily section and sit here. Order tests. We're going to need some of these. Um, and then this isn't happening. This is an ultrasound that it was scheduled for the 10th. And then I had the GI bug. And then they rescheduled it for today, the 18th. Yeah, they rescheduled it for the 18th, and they called me yesterday and said that the doctor was sick, or out. So I think the doctor had COVID, and then they rescheduled it for Thursday, but now I have COVID, so we're going to have to reschedule it again. <clears throat> I'm going to put that here on my daily for Tuesday. Because um, if they don't call me, I will call them. <clears throat> they have my results. Uh, cause I have to, they also sent me a list of vitamins I have to take for the rest of my pregnancy. They've got me on baby aspirin, like some sort of heart failure patient. It's good fun. Um, let's see. Yeah. So the feast of St. Agnes, that's something, that's something fun and nice. Oh, um, I'll use this one again just cause it's a good color. This Friday is the Feast of St. Agnes, and we will celebrate 
with something. We'll bake something, maybe. Because the poor thing, it's looking like she's probably going to miss and another, another entire week of school because of that. But it's her feast day. Um, and then, yeah, I don't think, I don't think this is happening, but I will leave it on here just in case the timing works out. A lot of the timeline of what we're going to be able to do is in the air, but this is, uh, we were planning on getting together with my in-laws to celebrate my brother-in-law's passing anniversary. And then I'm going to put this date here on a future log. I signed up for my free trial of Walmart home delivery, you know, so what did I just say? so that we didn't have to go pick it up in person. We needed groceries and vitamins. So I'm gonna cancel the trial on the 16th. All right. Because they don't tell you this, if you're ever checking out for Walmart and wondering when you're gonna use your free trial of their free delivery, uh, it says it's 15 days, but then if you go to your like benefit summary page, I don't know if this is always, but I was offered like a three question survey about like our household size and makeup and it extended for an extra 15 days. So, you know, whatever, we can get some groceries delivered instead of having to go pick them up, especially while we are isolating. That's good. Um, I don't think there's anything else on here. So the 20, yeah. Okay. The 26 is the actual day of his anniversary and no, uh, that's it that's oh no there's one more thing there's a to do here on the 20th I should replace my toothbrush head so there you go and I will also um, move to do items from both here and here over to this side. But I'm going to do that, I think, at the end of the day today um, because I'm still, you know, I have the rest of my day to potentially get some of this stuff done um, and some of this stuff done. And then I will just move over what needs to get done left over, you know. And then we've got a fresh new weekly spread ready to go. Hopefully if I start feeling worse that's always good to have a spread ready so that you can actually use it if you need to. But things like you see here, all of this squiggly was when I wasn't feeling well. Even before that, I wasn't keeping track. Um, you can see there's a lot of days that were like skipped and missed. And it's just, it's been a heck of a time. I hope that I'm not the only one in this situation, but also I hope you're not in this situation. So anyway, if you are also in the midst of the cold and flu and COVID season from hell, um, Godspeed, you're not alone, is what I'm trying to say. It's tough. Um, my kid keeps bringing stuff home from preschool and the other one from the babysitter and everyone's families keep getting sick and it's just, it's just fun. So I hope you enjoyed listening to my raspy voice um, and that this, you know, planning process was useful for you. Basically, there's nothing I'm really changing in my planner because of our isolation, just because I don't know how long it's going to last. I will cross things off as I come to them. I will reschedule things as they come up, and I'm not going to be able to fit them in. But, like, as of today, I'm not sure how much longer I'm going to be working from home, how much longer it is before the, um, the girls can go back to the babysitter or to school when we're going to be able to see family and friends again, you know, it's just all in the air. So I'm just leaving everything sort of as is. Fortunately, it's not too busy and there's not too much that I have to move. But like the worst part of COVID for me has been so far the logistics of like telling everybody and getting guidance and feedback and guidelines and figuring out, you know, the, the, the guidelines seem simple until you actually have to follow them. And then you're like, okay, do I wait until I don't have symptoms to get tested again? And you know, that kind of thing. 
I know I'm not the only one dealing with this. Uh, it seems like everybody, literally everybody is dealing with this right now. And honestly, it's like, at least now that we have it, we won't have to worry about it as much for the next month or two, I guess. And hopefully Omicron will be over by then and maybe we can go back to school. Things will be fine. Thank you for commiserating with me. I just needed to complain to somebody when my camera was here. So there you go. Uh, yeah. Don't forget to subscribe because I do post videos every Thursday and my voice sometimes is more reasonable. So you can check out old videos to see what I really sound like. Um, <laughs> love you guys. See you next week. Bye.